This video is a brief tutorial on control of brushless servo motors via CAN bus using Arduino and TinyMover. At the end of the video you will be able to issue position commands to the demonstrated setup and be ready to implement your own application logic. The following topics will be covered in this video. Bill of materials, hardware setup and connections, running the TinyMover demo script. To implement the setup, you will need the following a brushless motor, a tiny mover R3.4 and above, an MCP2515 adapter, an Arduino Uno, a DF13 connector wire, and a series of jumper wires. This video does not cover the mechanical setup of the motor and tiny mover. For this, check out the available 3D printable mounts in the video description. You can also purchase a TinyMover server kit, a ready-to-run kit that includes the motor and controller mounted in a high-quality mount that serves as a heatsink. First, connect the MCP2515 to Arduino. You will need several jumper wires for this. The connections are as shown in this diagram, which can also be found in the video description. Then, connect the MCP2515 to TinyMover. Depending on the revision, use a JSTGH or DF13 connector. CAN-H needs to be connected to MCP2515H and CAN-L to MCP2515L. The ground need not be connected. The easiest way to connect for prototyping is to cut the 4-pin DF13 cable and connect to the terminals of the MCP2515. Plug Tiny Mover to the power source and connect the Arduino to the PC via USB. Download the Tiny Mover library from the link in the description and use the install zip library function of the Arduino IDE to install the library. Open up the example script from file examples. Upload the script to Arduino and open up the serial monitor. This simple script allows you to send commands to increment or decrement the motor position. Press Q and then enter. This will calibrate the motor and controller. Wait until the motor has stopped moving. Press A and enter. This will enable position control mode. Press left arrow and enter. The motor should then move. Finally, press Z and enter to return to idle mode. Note that with the same setup and minimal changes in connectivity and script, you can daisy chain multiple motors and controllers and control them from a single Arduino. Thanks for watching this video. Find out more about TinyMover at tinymover.com.